I'm here joined by five times Le Mans winner Derek Bell. Uh, we're about to go up the hill at Festival of Speed in the Bentley Bentayga SUV. Now Derek, uh, racing drivers and SUVs don't normally go together in the same sentence, uh, but you were involved in the development of this car. How? Why? Well, I've been involved with Bentley, you know, it was a dream really in, in 2001 to get involved with the Le Mans project and the Continental GT development and just be part of Bentley as a British driver. You sort of end your career with what do you do, you know, most of us retire and you know, as a Brit, it was fantastic to get involved with Bentley, you know, with their history at Le Mans and my history at Le Mans. And it was fairly logical we should be working together. And it came off and I did some work on the Continental GT and the Kalahari Desert and places like that. Just a little bit of shakedown. And it was the same with the Super Sports and then, of course, with this. And I didn't do any real development. The, the guys at the factory, you know, who are plugging away at it all the time, developing all the components. Uh, Mr. Durham just brought me in at a certain point towards the end in the last six months and said, we really think it would be good for you to put some input into the car, see how you think it drives. And I think, you know, to put a racing driver in who is, you know, sort of used to driving other vehicles, just say, go and tell us what you think. And you get out and drive it on the road, whatever speed, and, you know, and I always seem to come up with something that you go, that's not quite right. Because as a test driver, I think you get so involved with the car that you don't, you might miss something. And I, and I wouldn't say that they do, but I certainly feel that when I get in, it's something they, if I see something, it's obviously something they've missed or overlooked. And even Mr. Durham I might have overlooked, or any of the top you know, guys at the factory. So that's why I got involved, and it, you know, it was great. Did some stuff in California, at various speeds, and of course got to know really about the car. Now, you say an SUV, and you say, yeah, well, you know, why are you involved with an SUV? But you know, what better car could it be than a Bentley SUV, if you're going to be involved at all? So why not? And I just love it. You know, I mean, I've driven it all over the place at very high speeds, and the handling is superb. And it's, you know, it's, it's, I don't think it's big at all. Some people do, but it depends what you're comparing it to. And you can't say it's beautiful because what SUV is beautiful, but it's fine, excellent, beautiful. I think beautiful-looking car, and is you know it's perfectly um, sort of you know, perfectly balanced machine. And when you get in it and realise the electronics that we have in it, and that they put in it, not me. That, uh, that we have on it and uh, the different areas that just aren't in any other cars. It actually leads the world in this class of car and in fact in many, really with any class of car because of what it has on it. Okay, in six months time other people are going to have the same technology that we have but right now this thing leads the world and until you've driven it fast and driven it for some days you don't realise just how good it is. And I'm, It sounds like a salesman but I'm not. I only say what I think. Can we get out of the car?